What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Caesar with Caesar Gets Crypto, and we are doing a late one tonight, man. Um, I passed out. For those of you that don't know, you don't need to know, but I, I have a baby girl for a daughter. And sometimes you pass out whenever you would normally be awake. <laughs> because you just need to. So, anyways, uh, without any further do's and don'ts, let's get into the chart. Right now, I want to say automatically just just looking at this thing this looks like a bart man this looks like a bart on the four hour if it wasn't obvious before it's it seems very obvious now right like very very like we we will probably come down at least on bitcoin we'll probably come down um maybe maybe not this far you know um, maybe we do but I, I i bet that we do it would not surprise me if we came down some bit of a way here and um, we could even go lower than that right like i have this drawn to twenty seven thousand. And, you know, for a while I wasn't expecting that. But just just looking at this now, volume increasing as you are making lower closes on the four hour um, with this bearish engulfing candle. And you did, you did eat most of it back up, but again, with not that much volume. And this looks weak, man. This looks weak. You're closing at levels below the halfway point of this candle, which is like below the halfway point of this whole price range. Um... I bet it wants to go down from here. I definitely bet Bitcoin wants to go down from here. I have exited my position. I have. <clears throat> I know that I made a video yesterday saying that. Um, I probably, I got in my position, I want to say it was, uh, it was on this red candle here. Maybe it was this one. It was between these two. It was right at, right around the top, man. I, I literally got in right around the top. And I was expecting to catch a move. Let's see. Uh, it was a little bit lower than this that I bought. But I was expecting to catch a move that would go anywhere for like around 34.1 or higher. And that would have been a 10% move. Just spot, no leverage, whatever. Just That would have been a 10% move on its own. So I was thinking, you know, let's catch a quick 10% or more move, get out, and then, you know, wait for a, a pullback. I didn't think that it would give it up right here. But <clears throat> the more that this unfolds, the more I'm inclined to believe that it actually might go down. And you know we could we could just keep going sideways. We we very well could just keep going sideways and then inevitably look bullish and turn up again. But <clears throat> the RSI is starting to roll over. It's starting to look bad. Where we were once holding support on the 50, we're actually now finding resistance on it a couple times. Um, getting bearish engulfing candles with increasing volume. You know it's not it's not a good look. All all while forming a topping ish range. Um, and we're pretty far above the purple line, you know. We could definitely go. We could definitely go below 28k, no problem. Um, we're at 30k now, so you know, I, I don't know if I would buy up here. And if I did buy up here, well, I'll tell you what, which I did buy. I bought. Let's let's see. I bought. I bought a little bit higher than that. Even I bought a little bit. It was like it was like upper or mid 30,800s. 30, but where I sold was about here. So I took a 1.18% loss. <clears throat> I took I took about just just over a 1% loss. If it goes down to the purple line, well that's that's a 8% loss. So so I mitigated my loss to to less than 7 times what it would have been, right? That's the whole reason why I mean I, I know it might seem silly. Why'd you get in if you were so convinced that it was going to go up, but now you're selling? Like, yeah, I get it, man. I was I was very convinced it was going to go up. That's why I bought that's why I put like 20 of those fireworks. That's why I put like 20% of my position in, you know, but that's also why I'm taking it out now because I don't I don't think that it's going to go up anymore. And I think we're starting to see that in a bunch of other cryptos too. Um, let's see. Man. I hope those fireworks don't wake my daughter up. Um, but we were overbought. We were overbought for a little bit. You know we've had we've had periods with Bitcoin where we've been overbought for a longer period of time, but generally whenever you've been overbought for for even this amount of time here or less or more, and then you come out of being overbought, <clears throat> that's whenever you see a you know somewhat of a move down. Um, and I made I think I made a video measuring some of those yesterday. That that the average move that I would expect. And we did actually see the average move was anywhere from at least an 8% drop from top to bottom, 
which would be, you know, that, that would be around, it was, it was a little over 8% actually. So it'd be around 29, just under 29K. That's right. I remember, uh, to about a just under 14% move, which would be about to 27K. So, <clears throat> and if those, if, if I remember where those are from bottom to top, it's actually at the 236 and the 382, I, I believe. Nope, maybe not. Maybe not. The 382 is right there. Okay, it's the 382 and the 618. That's what it is. That's right. Because, yeah, the minimum the minimum drop that we saw was like just over 8%, which would be around the 382. And the maximum drop we saw was just below 14%, which would be around the 618. These are very common retracements to make, the 382 and the 618. Um, in fact, I th I'd say it's to be expected. It wouldn't be bad. Bitcoin could drop... It could drop all the way to 886. It wouldn't be bad, you know. Um, it is. It is very, very. In my opinion, it's very unconventional that uh, that you see the price do this. And I said this in my last video too, but I am restating it here: is you, that you break above the 618 like this with ease. <clears throat> you find support on the 786. Even you close above the 886. You're even finding support on it here. But now. Now you're starting to turn over. It's very uncommon that you don't at least see these extensions. This again is why I bought up here originally, um, high, higher than this current price even. I, you know, I bought up here because I really did. This really did look like it wanted to go higher. But the more that this develops, the more that it just really looks like it wants to come back down either to this 618 or you know 382, or I guess it would come back to this 618, which is around 28.5, <coughs> and. I mean, if it came down to this 382, I'm pretty sure that's near, that's near this other 618 here. Let me see. From bottom, that's not the that's not the right one. Got to measure it here. <clears throat> yeah, this 382 on this bigger fib is right next to this this more immediate 618, and the 382 for this immediate one is right by this bigger fib's 618 itself. So, pretty pretty key areas of support and resistance around like prices below 29k. And, uh, you know, above 28, or I guess around 28 and a half to 29 K. And then also down at around 27 K, just over 27 K. There's, there's pretty area, pretty strong areas of support. So we might see a bounce <clears throat> anywhere around, again, around the midway point between 28 K and 29 K or just below 29 K. We might see a bounce around there, or we might see a bounce around this 382, which is again, just above 27 K. Um, that's that's kind of what I'm expecting, and again, all of that would be to the tune of a eight percent from top to bottom drop, or a slightly over eight percent actually, right? And then a uh, slightly under fourteen percent drop being your maximum kind of expected drop here. Because if you go back, I'm not going to do it again, but if you go back and you measure these moves, you know, even all the way back here, um, <clears throat> that's kind of what the expectation is. Whenever you get from overbought to getting out of the overbought zone, it did look to me. Like we were going to come down and we were going to bounce out of this overbought zone, um, and we did. We did bounce. <laughs> you know, we, we we came down and we did find a little bounce, but that move did not promote um, further execution up. So we actually even on on the daily time frame even had a bearish engulfing candle. I guess that's what this was. This was a bearish engulfing candle, which also, by the way, from top to bottom here was the candle that broke through the 886. We did get above it the next day, which is encouraging, but we're making lower highs still. We're not breaking out of this range. After this pretty solid day, we've just kind of had sideways movement, um, <coughs> which is fine. This whole range has been sideways movement. I could be wrong. Again, more time would be needed, but it would be out of character for Bitcoin to not have some kind of drop that would take it around 27 to prices just below 29k 27 to 29k really is the range we're looking at um and yeah that's that's kind of my my overall expectation at the moment is a little drop so i feel like i'm just saying the same stuff over and over again but we did you know i think looking at it i think looking at it we're gonna we're gonna see a move that's bigger from from this bounce off the weekly like ultimately whenever this thing you know is, is weeks away from the current price it'll look like we have a move that's bigger than this 26.9% uh, move. But even if this is a 26.9% move, this meets the uh, kind of minimum requirements we were looking for. Because I, I did say that the smallest 
uh, price increase from bottom to top a- after bouncing off the 50 was like just over 25%. Um, and here we are just over that. I wouldn't expect, I honestly wouldn't expect that it would be on the smaller end. I would think that we'd see something a little bit bigger than that, but it doesn't, it doesn't have to continue going up, but I, I would think, you know, if, if it didn't continue up from here, what this would look like then would be some kind of double top, right? And then that would set us up for much lower prices. I don't think we're going to get that. I don't think. I think that's bare hope. I think that's what a lot of people who miss buying down here, myself included, are hoping for. I'd love it if it went down, man. I would love to be wrong and and it not bounce around 27 or 29K. But I do think it does. And, I, and like I said, I think weeks from now we're going to look at this move and it's not – it's not from bottom to top. That's not going to be the measurement. It's going to be something more pronounced, probably up to this pink line, um, which I thought we were going to get that more in the immediate term. But it looks like, you know, instead of instead of today, <clears throat> it might happen next week or the week after, you know. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of my expectation at the moment. Just like right like here from bottom to top, we're not measuring to here. Even though it had two weeks to the downside, that would be a 56% growth. No, we measure up here at the at the 63% growth at the actual top. And then, then it comes down and it has its real bottom, right? Just like you wouldn't measure from bottom to top here, even though it moved sideways for a few weeks, this was the actual top. So I think I think we do move a little bit sideways and then we will have our actual like top and it will be a little bit higher. Again, somewhere... You know, maybe not, maybe not as high as I was calling for. I was saying upper 30s uh, to lower 40s are completely at play, but maybe, maybe we're back down to uh, the mid 30s. I don't know. Right now, I just I want to see where it bounces. I want to see where it goes from here as far as the downside is. Um, <clears throat> if it just keeps holding this range sideways, if we can shift momentum bullishly, at least on the four hour, that would be a nice sign. But um, at the moment, I would say bearish momentum is gaining. Um, I want to look, and when I say bearish, man, I don't mean, I don't mean like this move is going to be given back. I just mean like, like for, for a day or two or three, it looks bad. I don't know why these EMAs aren't, aren't giving it to me. That's weird, man. That is really weird. Well, I have the 20 and the 50, so I guess that's, I'm going to, I'm going to reload this and see if, uh, <clears throat> if that's what it is. Let's see, BTC, USD. All time there, and then we'll go with the ribbon again. Yeah, that's so weird. That is really weird. Why is it doing that? That is interesting. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I, I have no idea. Um, that's okay though. No ribbon today, guys. No ribbon. Um, we don't need the ribbon, man. It would have been nice to see, but uh, yeah. I am going to do a Litecoin video. I'll probably do that next here, but uh, for the moment, I just want to keep it focused on Bitcoin. And again, to wrap this all up, I am expecting some sort of a drop, some sort of a consolidation phase, whatever you want to call it, um, to the downside, to the tune of like two to three thousand dollars from here. Um, yeah, and and that'll probably be a good point to go in again because that would be around this. 382 or 618, which are very common areas to bounce off of and proceed higher. Um, it looks like we want to proceed higher. We're in this overall little trend. And I, I would be generally surprised with this kind of price action going on. I would be surprised if we came down. But to be fair, like this, this does look right kind of like an M. It does kind of look like an M. Whenever you get M patterns or Ws, if it were to play out like a true M, then, then we would go past this bottom here. Um, but again, I just, I don't see that happening right now. I think, I think if that happened, that would take a lot of people by surprise. Um, not gonna lie, this, this decreasing volume does kind of make this whole thing look like a consolidation range, uh, uh, like a consolidation range. Something that, you know, once volume breaks out that you would, you'd either break out to the upside or downside. But again, I don't know, this is on the index, Let's go to the USD Coinbase. I mean, not that's not necessarily encouraging on the volume, but uh, on the daily we are gaining volume. I don't know, man. I don't know. This thing could roll over. It could. It could be really, really bad. At the moment, I'm definitely not thinking that. I think that that's uh, more hope for the bears. Honestly, what we have here is cleared lower or higher lows and higher highs already. So, I think we're just at a pit stop 
we're gonna we're gonna come down a little bit. It'll be you know time to gas up for the bulls. They'll buy down here and then up we go. Because um, the bears, man, they really they just really weren't showing strength. And I feel like if we had this ribbon working, it's not working. I don't I don't get this. If we had the ribbon working, um, it'd be more more obvious I think to show that. But that's okay. We are above the 50 on the weekly. We're below the purple line. This is a good indication that buying below the purple line is a good time to buy. We are probably going to see prices above it at some point here in the coming future. You know, on the weekly time frame, things move a little bit slower. But on this chart overall, it'll it'll seem fast, right? Like this, from, from bottom to top, it seems really fast, right? But that's that's from November to April. So that it, it takes time sometimes. So it could be a couple months till we are above here. Um Though I wouldn't expect that. I would expect, you know, probably before August we would be we'd be up around this purple line. But maybe not, maybe not. Any you know, anything could change. Time will tell. I'll keep you guys up to date. If you want to stay up to date, leave a like, subscribe to see more stuff. Um, I, you're gonna see the same stuff even if you don't subscribe. But I appreciate all the comments, I appreciate all the people subscribing. We're at 126 now, man. And nobody has left a comment with uh, the charity that they'd like to donate to, so I am going to choose one. And, you know, probably sometime this week, I'll just, I'll make a video, um, with, with that. Yeah. <clears throat> Again, breaking a hundred subscribers. I decided I'm going to donate a hundred dollars to charity. I'm going to do the same thing whenever I break a thousand subscribers, 10,000 subscribers, a hundred thousand, you know, like anytime that I get that many subscribers, I will just donate, uh, that amount of money in charity. That's I think I think that's a good little trend. I I know that I'm not original in thinking that. I'm sure that there's a lot of people that do something similar to that. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just hopping on board with that because I I wanted to do something special for the for the hundred for the first 100 subscribers. I had something else in mind, but it just didn't work out. So this is you know this is what I came up with on a uh, short term notice. Anyways, enough of all that. Definitely bearish at the moment, guys. Definitely bearish at the moment. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, man. See, from this fib alone, I would expect seeing the 236, um, which is below 27K. And maybe we do see the 236, but, but we don't have to. It doesn't have to come. You know, especially if this isn't the top, if this isn't the move, then this isn't the actual 236, right? Because this is where the anchor is. If the top is right here... Well, then I'd expect that, but I don't expect this to be the top. I would expect, you know, the top maybe to be somewhere around here. Maybe it's even higher. You know, maybe we top off around like 38K or something like that, which is part of the range that we were addressing earlier. And this is just resistance on the uh, the to, to come 236. Um, if we pull it up a little bit higher, you know, it looks nice on the 0.5 there. It looks like resistance on the 236. This would put us right below 40K. Um, you know, this could be the top. <clears throat> somewhere around here or somewhere around here so you know like I, I don't know until we get there but one thing in my opinion just is definitely becoming more apparent is that this is not the top and it might it might seem like that over the coming days <clears throat> even the coming week it might seem like that but I wouldn't expect I wouldn't expect that we're done yet I think this is just the beginning we're gonna have a little pullback it's totally normal and then we're gonna go from there that's that's about it. And I really wanted the ribbon um, to kind of help show some stuff, but that's okay. Maybe tomorrow. Um, again, that's all I got for you guys. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff, um, and I will see you. I will see you on the next one. So thank you very much. Take care. Bye bye.